This is the story of Mitos. A chill breeze stirs your hair. Not far away, a strange spirit glimmers into being. A look of recognition briefly passes across the ghost's face, but is quickly replaced by confusion. The apparition sighs and moves his mouth, but no words come out. The ghost's eyes brighten, and he flickers and fades away. This ghost was found within the Moor graveyard. An invisible wind tugs at the ghost's robes. Suddenly, the wind gusts and the ghost is pulled away towards the gardens of Menelesh. Inside the gardens, we find the ghost again. A chill breeze stirs your hair. Not far away, a strange spirit glimmers into being. The ghost appears dismayed to find itself in the gardens of Menelesh. Lord Rytherin's wards have ensnared him. The ghost begs for your help. A sudden look of terror passes across the ghost's face as the invisible wind begins to blow again. The edges of his silhouette ripple and shred and he vanishes, swept back out of the gardens. The trail goes cold for a while, until a menhir ring is discovered. The ghost is trapped within inside it. The ghost is trapped within the ring. He speaks. His words are faint as though heard from far off and fade in and out of hearing. He says, Hear me? Thought I would be trapped, Rytherin. Carried away on a marvelous stream of light, must be the ley line. The ghost gestures excitedly at the menu ring around us. I am safe for now, but stuck. I need energy, a piece of something. It could still be somewhere the seaborne. The ghost becomes visibly fatigued and is no longer able to speak. A bold group of adventurers travel to far Erlenth Island and seek out Airfell deep beneath her keep. They fight her in her most powerful form, but find no new clues. A bold war mage travels to the Ishalai Elysium, where in years past the Order of Heromancers trained, and discovers at the center of the Menhir Ring a crystal splinter. As Phoenix's hand passes into the ghost's body, the crystal splinter melts, releasing its energy. Ah, I feel newly made. Greetings, young one. In life I was Mitos, Arcanist of the Empyrean. But now I am nothing more than a wandering shade, powerless to avenge myself. Hear my story. In the darkness of those years after the arrival of the Althaway, when I believed all my people were lost, a young Empyrean named Nurgle appeared at the entrance to my halls. I welcomed him in, a long-lost brother, and took him as my student. I treated him as my friend and equal, but he was not content with that. He sought the mastery. And when I refused to serve him, he employed all his art to subdue me by force. After a long struggle, I defeated him. But unbeknownst to me, he had been experimenting in secret with blood magic. When I let down my guard, he rose again in undeath and set my own works against me. In death, my spirit fled those halls, waning with the passing of the centuries. And then, not long ago, I was rejuvenated. And it is in this moment that your path crosses mine. This can be no coincidence. I believe it is fate for you to avenge me and rid this world of a great evil. But be warned, if you enter the halls of Mitos, you will face dangers beyond anything you have encountered before. And that is where the story ends. Or is it? This is nuts. <laughs> oh no! Uh, this... Oh, I was at the thing! Oh.